Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to show you how Bayes' theorem is nothing more than theorem 1 and theorem 2 put together, and I mean theorem 1 and theorem 2 of conditional probability. All right, so from the theorem 1, where this was a general way of writing it, we can write it like this. Notice that we still have the A everywhere, but instead of B, some other independent event, we have A sub I, like tossing a coin. And then what we can do is, since this is the intersection of A and A sub I, we can actually turn that around. We can put A sub I on the left side here. So we can say that this can now be written as the probability of A occurring is equal to the probability of the intersection of A sub I with A. And of course, it doesn't matter what order that's placed in, divided by the probability that A sub I will occur, provided that A has occurred. And then you realize that P sub A and P sub A sub I occurring, provided A has occurred, can actually be interchanged. So what we're going to do is we're going to write this as the probability that A sub I will occur, provided that A has occurred, is equal to the probability of A sub I occurring intersected with A divided by P sub A. And then you realize that P sub A can be written like this in general. If there's a set of independent events, we can write P sub A equal to this, according to theorem 2. So that means that the probability of A sub I occurring, provided that A has occurred, is equal to the probability that A sub I will occur intersected with A divided by the sum when I goes from 1 to N of the probability that A sub I will occur times the probability that A will occur provided that A sub I has occurred. And now notice that this becomes very close to Bayes' theorem. We have P probability that A sub I will occur provided that A has occurred is equal to, now the numerator is not yet the same, at least it doesn't appear to be the same, but the denominator is the same. And finally we can conclude that this can simply be written like that, again from this theorem right here, so notice that we can have P, P sub A times P sub B, provided that P sub A has occurred, times P, the intersection of the probability of A intersected with B, which is what we have over here. So this can be written as this times this for a particular event sub I, which means that this cannot be written as the probability that A sub I has occurred, provided that the probability of A will occur that A sub I has occurred, all divided by the sum of I equals 1 to N of the probability that A sub I has occurred times the probability that A occurs provided that A sub I has occurred. And now you can see that this is exactly Bayes' theorem, which is simply a mixture of theorem 1 and theorem 2 put together. So now we see that this is a very straightforward equation which we can now show how to utilize with our simple setup right there. So Bayes' theorem is nothing more than theorem 1 and theorem 2 put together and then modified a little bit to make it come out like that. And now I'll show you in the next example how to actually apply Bayes' theorem in a very straightforward manner. So stay tuned and after the next video it should all become clear to you.